let's unravel the financial tapestry of this colossal aquatic ballet, the South North Water Transfer Project. Also translated as the South to North Water Diversion Project, is a multi-decade infrastructure mega-project in China that ultimately aims to channel 44.8 cubic meters of fresh water each year from the Yangtze River in southern China to the more dry and industrialized north through three canal systems. Picture a staggering investment of over $79 billion, an amount that not only speaks volumes about the sheer audacity of the project, but also places it firmly among the greatest of engineering ventures in human history. The journey began in 2003, as construction crews embarked on what would become a multi-decade saga. Mao Zedong's early statements in 1952 sowed the seeds of an idea that over time transformed into an ambitious solution to China's water woes. There's plenty of water in the south, not much water in the north. If at all possible, borrowing some water would be good, he had remarked, laying the groundwork for an engineering spectacle. As we fast forward to 2014, the financial ledger reveals the magnitude of this endeavor. $79 billion had been poured into the veins of the project, making it a testament to China's commitment to tackling water scarcity head-on. The currency of ambition in this case flows not just in cubic kilometers, but also in the form of monetary dedication and engineering finesse. The China South North Water Transfer Project stands as an immense and ambitious initiative, carrying profound consequences for the environment, economy, and the livelihoods of millions. Geographic Challenges China confronts geographical hurdles with dry expanses of rugged terrains in its northern regions. This historical challenge gains contemporary relevance due to the rapid urbanization and industrialization, notably in northern cities like Beijing. The flourishing metropolises of the north, driven by relentless progress, have heightened their demand for water resources. This, coupled with the inherently dry nature of the terrain, has prompted the need for innovative solutions to bridge the water deficit. In response to these geographical challenges, China embarked on the audacious South North Water Transfer Project. This ambitious endeavor signifies a pivotal intervention, aiming to channel water resources from the water-rich South to the parched North, addressing not only the immediate concerns of water scarcity, but also navigating the complex intersection of geography, urbanization, and industrial growth in the evolving narrative of China's landscape. Eastern Route The Eastern Route of the South North Water Transfer Project, culminated in 2017, orchestrates the grand movement of water from the Yangtze River to the bustling urban hubs of Tianjin and Beijing. This hydraulic lifeline, however, faced the intricate dance of delays during its journey to completion, pushing the originally anticipated finish line by more than four years. These unforeseen hurdles, a complex choreography of construction challenges, logistical intricacies, and perhaps unforeseen environmental considerations, unfolded as the narrative of the Eastern Route unfolded. Despite the temporal setbacks, the completion heralded a transformative moment for the water infrastructure of northern China, quenching the thirst of urban landscapes and industrial endeavors. The Eastern Route, with its triumphs and tribulations, now stands as a testament to both engineering prowess and the resilience demanded by endeavors of such colossal magnitude in reshaping the hydraulical destiny of the nation. Central Route The Central Route a pivotal segment in China's South North Water Transfer Project achieved fruition in 2014. This hydraulic symphony directs the flow of water from the Han River to the bustling metropolis of Beijing, offering a lifeline to the capital city's bargaining needs. However, this triumph wasn't without its echoes of concern. The diversion of water upstream raised apprehensions about potential ramifications downstream triggering debates over ecological equilibrium of affected areas. The completion of the central route thus became not only a triumph for engineering, but also a focal point of debate on the delicate balance between water resource allocation 
and environmental sustainability. As the conduits of progress flow through the central route, so do the concerns and considerations, underlining the complex interplay between development and environmental stewardship in the grand narrative of China's hydrological transformation. Western Route The Western Route, a prospective chapter in the South North Water Transfer Project, currently resides in the planning stages, encountering substantial challenges on its journey to realization. Envisioned to traverse the rugged landscapes, this route is designed to transport water from the abundant reservoirs of the Yangtze River to the historically parched Yellow River, all while navigating the majestic Qinghai Tibet Plateau. However, the path to implementation remains full of complexities, as environmental, logistical, and perhaps geopolitical challenges unfold. The Western Route, though still in the wings, symbolizes the audacity of China's vision to bridge regional water imbalances, yet highlights the intricate dance between ambition and the challenges inherent in reshaping the nation's hydrological destiny. As the blueprints are refined and hurdles addressed, the Western Route holds the promise of further transforming the landscape and weaving another chapter in China's Aqua Saga. Social and Economic Impact The South North Water Transfer Project unfolds a complex tale of social and economic impact, weaving a narrative that resonates both triumphs and dissent within the diverse tapestry of China. As water courses through the veins of this ambitious endeavor, the socio-economic consequences ripple across the nation. While certain regions revel in the anticipated economic and agricultural stability that the project promises, others, particularly those upstream, raise voices of opposition. The divide between beneficiaries and protesters unveils a socio-economic fault line that underscores the project's transformative power and the inherent challenges of balancing regional interests. One of the most profound manifestations of this societal shift is the relocation of hundreds of thousands of people necessitated by dam construction and canal creation. This massive human migration, a consequence of reshaping the hydrological landscape, adds a human dimension to the project's narrative. The stories of those uprooted became integral chapters, reflecting the societal cost of such grand engineering ventures. The economic implications, however, paint a picture of anticipated stability particularly in certain western provinces. These regions, poised to receive the life-giving waters, anticipate a surge in agricultural productivity and economic prosperity. Yet, the socio-economic tapestry remains intricately woven, with dissenting voices echoing concerns about environmental impacts, cultural dislocation, and the potential for social upheaval. In this dynamic interplay between progress and dissent, the South North Water Transfer Project stands as a microcosm of the challenges inherent in steering the course of a nation's hydrological destiny. As we navigate these waters of socio-economic impact, the duality of progress and resistance calls for the understanding of intricate threads binding the fate of millions to the flow of this monumental water source. Environmental Concerns The South North Water Transfer Project while heralded as a hydrological marvel, casts a looming shadow of environmental concerns. The alteration of natural river flows disrupts ecosystems, leading to the disappearance of hundreds of rivers. Artificial rivers, integral to the project, face contamination from industrial waste and sewage. Compounding these issues is the absence of adequate water treatment facilities along the project's path raising fears of widespread pollution. Further, the potential backflow of seawater and the specter of a water crisis loom if the Yangtze's flow experiences a significant decrease, underscoring the delicate ecological balance at stake in this aquatic transformation. Unintended Consequences The South North Water Transfer Project begets unintended consequences particularly in the ecologically sensitive Qinghai Tibet Plateau. Environmental degradation, a haunting specter, unfolds as the project reshapes the region's hydrological dynamics. 
the delicate balance of this high-altitude plateau is susceptible to disruption, posing the risk of potential landslides as the Earth reacts to the rechanneling of waters. Seismic hazards further compound the challenge, as the intricate dance between engineering ambition and the geological forces of the plateau unveils an unforeseen interplay. The unintended consequences, etched into the very fabric of this ambitious aquatic saga, underscore the imperative of navigating the delicate ecosystems and geological intricacies with meticulous care, lest the ripple effects of progress cascade into environmental degradation and seismic uncertainties on the elevated canvas of the King High Tibet Plateau. Indulge in the opulence of knowledge with Lux Life Living. If you found this exploration of China's South North Water Transfer Project captivating, don't forget to lavish us with likes, subscribe for more luxurious content, and generously share this aquatic odyssey with your fellow connoisseurs of the Lux Life. Join our community of enthusiasts as we continue to unravel the grand narratives that shape our world. Until our next rendezvous, stay curious and embrace the luxuries that life and learning have to offer. Locks Life Living, where knowledge meets indulgence.